we have not made progress in the foundations of physics for about 40 years. And this problem is becoming more pressing uh, year after year. Physics is a very mature discipline. Uh, it, it's one of the oldest um, scientists that there is, and the sim simple things have been done. So um, you expect some kind of slowdown, um, for example, because it becomes uh, more and more difficult. This is why we see larger and larger experiments, larger and larger collaborations, more and more expensive experiments. Um, but the main reason for the slowdown is not this difficulty, because we still make these experiments um, and um, we still see a lot of theoretical activity in these areas. It's just that it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It's like people are running faster and faster, but they're, they're running on a treadmill, not getting anywhere. What's really um, at the core of the problem is that physicists and the foundations of physics rely on beauty to um, discover the next best fundamental law. Um, they think that the foundations of physics, the way that we currently have them, as, as with general relativity and the standard model, are just not pretty enough. Um, these theories leave them wanting for various reasons. Um, for example, in the standard model, um, we have uh, three different types of interactions. Um, there is the electromagnetic interaction that uh, most of you would probably have heard of. Um, and then there is the strong and the weak nuclear force. Uh, but these kind of sit next to each other um, in a, a quite awkward way. And it would be much prettier if there were ultimately all three aspects of one large interaction that would be described by a one symmetry group. So this is what is called a grand unified uh, theory. And it's just aesthetically much more appealing. And this is why a lot of physicists think that this is how nature should work. So I have this little image here, um, which shows you a certain kind of symmetry uh, group, which is called E8. Uh, you can think of these little dots basically as being particles with certain properties, uh, charge, um, color, color charge, spin, uh, and so on, and these lines as being the connections between um, the particles. So this is one of the possible um, beautiful theories that um, physicists are considering um, in the foundations to make the standard model prettier. The problem is they invent these prettier theories um, and then they go out and try to test them, um, usually by spending a lot of money because, as I just said, these experiments are not cheap and then they are surprised if no evidence is found to support them. Um, it's even worse than that, actually, because um, they also don't get the message that this is a procedure which clearly is working, uh, but they've been doing this since the 1980s. Part of the problem is that they are largely unaware that this is what they are doing because these requirements of beauty have become mathematical standards. Um, so a lot of physicists will actually be really, really offended if you tell them that they rely on beauty because they don't know that that's what they're doing. Ultimately, where these arguments come from, uh, it's the reason why physicists would want nature to be in this particular way is because it would be more beautiful. Um, but metaphysical assumptions is exactly what it is. These are assumptions about nature that themselves are not based on evidence, they're beliefs, basically.